Ay, 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 ay. My brothers, my sisters, everybody. I think we need to have a little heart to heart. You know, I've been making these videos for a long time. I've been preaching the truth of mixology, agitation, keeping them pigments moving. Yeah, I cannot seem to reach everybody. There's always somebody, one person out there, who does not know how to shake their cans. It pains me so when I hear someone say, hey, my cap's clogged. My can doesn't work. What is this resiny stuff coming out? Why is my paint only spraying solvent? <laughs> no, but seriously though, you gotta remember, these cans come a long way. They come from Europe, the great continent of Europe, over many leagues of ocean. They spent many months in a warehouse before they get to you. And you have to remember, these cans have much higher pigmentation than what you get at the hardware store. So it's imperative. Oh, it's it's absolutely necessary that you shake these cans. And I don't know how I'm not reaching people on this. I still get people having agitation problems because you have a mixture in this can. A mixture will separate. You gotta remember that, guys. Mixture, not solution. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna show you how to shake your cans. <laughs> All jokes aside, there are beginners. There are a lot of beginners out there and, and we need to teach them the basics. And that's, and that's what I do with these videos is I like to teach people. I've been slowly working people up on the most basic foundational stuff. Although I missed this step. I guess I missed it. I talk about it all the time. But now we have to show it. So let's get cracking. Now, like I said, all these cans are mixtures. So you have the pigment, some solvent, and some type of resin binder to keep it all together. And as the can sit, those three parts start to separate. So when you get your can, it's very important that you agitate it properly. Now, before we get started, let's look at each of the brands that we have here. We have some Molotov Premium, some Flame Orange, some Montana products, Montana Black and Montana Gold. Now, all these different brands use a different type of cap or safety system, which is like the over cap on these cans or the safety donut that you find in the Montana can. So before you get started, just get the can ready. So with the Montana cans, what you do is you pull the cap off and underneath is a plastic donut. Let that bad boy fall out. It comes out easily enough. See that right there? I haven't figured out anything to do with these yet. Maybe I'll make a big necklace or something, right? <laughs> All right, great. Now that the donut's off, let's go ahead and put the cap back on there. Just kind of twist it on as you put it. Don't just shove it in because you're more likely to create a spray that way. So just twist it on like that and you're good to go. Up next will be the flame orange. It's just like the flame blue, this just has a little uh, overcap, which is pretty common. Montana uses them as well, Spanish Montana. Uh, flame, they kind of did a little fun thing here. They put a little stencil in there. So when you're painting your wall, you can spray the little stencil. A lot of people don't realize that's a stencil. Now lastly is the Molotov Premium, which has probably the most complex, yet most satisfying method of securing the can. Now a lot of you are probably thinking that you just pull the cap off like that. Well, where's the color ring at? Ready? <laughs> Look at a huge mess over here. <laughs> it's a little bit easier to do when you're just holding it in your hand. But what you do is you just push down, make it clack, and then when you pull it off, you got your color ring on there, baby. Novel, very, very novel. Leave it to the Germans to over-engineer things, right? Well, this is German too. Well, Germans are also very efficient sometimes. Over-engineer, efficient. <laughs> God, I love German technology. They really do make the best spray paints. They really do, hands down. So, all right, so what we're gonna do is go ahead and get these cans started, and I'll show you the basic method of shaking your cans. All right, before you get started with your shaking, go ahead and give the can a couple taps on your palm. That'll loosen up 
the ball bearing that's in there. Usually there's a couple of them. There we go. Nice. Now go ahead and just start going like this, just to get it moving around. Use gravity to help you shake the can. The manufacturers say you have to shake the cans for at least two minutes. And I think that's good advice. What I like to do to help save the time, shake three at a time. And this is something you can do while you're watching videos or whatever before you go out and paint. You can even do it the night before and then just give your cans a cursory shake the next morning before you paint. If you're going out, whatever. But definitely do this before you go out painting. All right, so now that the two minutes is up, your can is thoroughly shaken, it's time to do some test sprays. Now, a lot of paints come with a very thin tip on them as a stock cap, so for me, when I start a can, I actually prefer to use a fat cap because that'll help get out any uh, stray solvents or anything that might be in the straw because even though you shook the can, there might be some solvents stuck in there. So just give it a quick little spray. There we go. All right, now that can is ready. Let me do a couple quick lines here and just make sure I got everything going properly. Oh, beautiful. Nice and opaque. Beautiful. If you're having a little trouble starting your can, try this trick. What I have here is a red calligraphy cap and I've removed the little black insert with a pair of needle nose pliers. Also, I cut the stem saw inside much larger. That way, more pressure comes out. And what this will do is if you have any spare resin or, or uh, a little pigment clog in your straw, this will help pull it out. Almost nine times out of 10, if I have a can that's locked up, this will open it right up. But remember, Shake your cans first, and you're less likely to have a lockup. All right, guys, I hope that little video helped you out. I hope you now understand how to properly shake your cans because, you know, nine times out of 10, if you're spraying resin, you got a chalky spray, if, uh, if only solvent's coming out, or if the cap is clogging, chances are you didn't shake the can properly. So with these tools, now you will. Now you will paint like a pro. I just want you to fully experience and enjoy what these cans are like. And if you're not shaking it, you're breaking it, baby. We don't want that to happen. I want you to have fun. So remember, always shake your cans. Always, always shake your cans. And you will be a much happier painter because of it. All right, I'll see you guys later.